Welcome back to the T-Brad Fab YouTube channel. Uh, I haven't uploaded in a while. That doesn't mean I haven't been working on the truck. I just haven't been filming. So this video, I'm gonna give you an update on what's all been done to it and where we stand on it and how close we are with this thing. But anyway, let's get to the video. All right, so in the last uh, video, I believe, I was trying to get the first start going on this thing. Well, I got it to uh, fire, which resulted in catastrophic failure. Um, it fired and then the motor seized up on me. Come to find out, I tore it all apart and this is what I found. I'll post a picture right here for you to see what happened. Uh, what happened was the back two injectors hung open, filling the cylinders with fuel. And wow, that's a lot of gas. And just so happens when it rolled over, they must have been on bottom or near bottom, came to the top, bent the connecting rods and snapped them in half. Um, that killed that motor obviously, so out the motor came, wasn't sure what to do. So I took a little break to figure out what I was gonna do. Um, the options were to find a couple connecting rods, put them in, put the motor back in. But that just seemed like a ton of work just for a motor that is band-aided back together. So I talked to my buddy Jay that you saw in the other videos um, and he had another six liter kicking around at the shop. So I purchased it from him and proceeded to pull the motor back out of the truck. I uh, got the motor out, got the new motor back from Jay. We cleaned it, hours and hours of needle scaling, pressure washing, scrubbing, degreasing, um, and got it clean. That motor came out of a snowplow truck, so it was pretty greasy, grimy, dirty. But as I'll show you here shortly, um, it came out pretty good. I'll uh, post a couple pictures here in the video too, if I can find them. To show you what the motor looked like before and after when it was on the stand. Um, um, so yeah, so anyways, there, there's the old motor right there. Um, the pistons, The pistons, I don't have them right now. They're, I'm not sure where they got put, but they're around here somewhere just for a reminder to, after a motor sits for a while, check the injectors. Not very common that they hang wide open, but this time they hung wide open and that was the result, unfortunately. Like I said, I'll insert some, I inserted a clip before and show you what they look like and that was that was the end of that motor but anyways here we go we'll uh, give you an update here I got motor all back in again everything's all hooked up everything's uh, connected we're running now um, all electrical I just finished it this week I've got a big fuse here for the alternator um, all the fuses and the wiring for the fan I managed to fit a derail fan in here electric fan it's hard to see but I fit it on the inside here um, the rads mounted it's got a full shroud around it like you saw before in the other video PCMs mounted all the wiring here for the fans is done this is a two-speed fan so I'm hoping kick the low speed on maybe 210 or something like that and maybe 220 for the high speed um, under the hood it's pretty much done we are we're ready under here other than obviously i need to split loom and clean that up but 
I got a couple. Actually, I'm not done. I got a couple more wires to run in to the inside of the cab for the OBD plug. And that's about it. Other than, I think, a couple hose clamps on the heater hoses. And, yeah, the under the hood is done. So, now let's, uh, let's climb under the truck and I'll show you what I've got done under there. Okay. Underneath here, you can see I got my Y-pipe built. I went Y-pipe, two into one two and a half into a three inch as you can see I did some uh, stainless pie cuts to come up over that cross member all the way back and I did a cat the muffler and then I will be continuing over the axle you'll see that in a future video here um, trans cross members all in and bolted in that worked out great all I need to do here I can just uh, there, pop out that bolt there and then another one on this side this tranny cross member will come out um, drop kit is in in the front as you can see hard to see here but the drop kit is in fuel tanks in everything's in in here okay up on the frame rail here as you can see my fuel system I've got a Corvette regulator so that I can run the single fuel line returns back here um, again there's this cross member that bolt drops the tranny cross member then I've got my then I've got my line lock and then all my brake unions and everything is up under here is all tidied up um, drive shaft is in and that's about all I got up under here let's move to the back end of the truck under the back end of the truck here as you can see I got a perfect launch diff cover that supports the uh, supports the bearings there um, brake lines are ran I also made up a cross member here, welded the shock brackets on the axle, so now we have shocks back here. Um, yeah, I do plan on bringing, bringing the exhaust over the axle, and then I'm gonna dump it out in a factory location. Uh, just prefer to have it out the back of the truck instead of resonating underneath the truck here. Um, yeah, so like I said, there's that cross member bolts in here, and then the, uh, the mounts here, like I said, are welded to the axle. So I do have some, I do have adjustment here that uh, I can, I can adjust this if I want to, or if I do go to a different shock after, but yeah, that bar will work great. Like I say, bolts in four bolts, can get it out. Nothing, no major modifications under here. I do think I'm going to end up needing to put a mini notch in this thing. Um, I, I guess I'm going to get it on the road and see what it does, but I am anticipating that it is going to bottom out here, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Well, there you have it. A short, little sweet video, but just give you an update on where we are at with the truck. We're super close. Uh, really just need to get the brake lines in it. Um, or sorry, get the brakes bled in it. Wheels back on it. Um, some minor wiring with the inside of the truck such as like a OBD plug and I got to wire up the line lock and all that um, other than that get some tires and we should be good so and then obviously in the next video you'll probably see in the next little bit here week or so I'm gonna finish up the exhaust over the axle and out the back of the truck so I'll give you some excuse me I'm gonna give you some fab videos of me welding up, TIG welding that stainless up and uh, getting the exhaust done. But until then, don't forget, like it up, subscribe, share it with your friends. Thanks everybody, till the next one.